Belgium's going to be a big race for us. It's Stoffel's home Grand Prix. It's, uh, you know, the Belgian fans absolutely love him. It's also 50 years since uh, Bruce McLaren won in, in Spa as well. So that's, that's uh, historical significance for McLaren. And we're certainly going to be looking to put in a good result at that event. Belgium is one of the, the real driver's tracks. All the drivers love Spa. It's a, it's a great challenge for the drivers. There's some, some high-speed corners. There's some ridiculously high-speed corners. You know, Eau Rouge is now flat, so it's less of a challenge in, in these generation of Formula 1 cars, but still the lows, the driver experiences through there are quite astonishing, really. The corners are a bit mixed, so turn one is quite a low-speed corner. Then you've got really high-speed corners, again, at the top of the hill. Turn five is a, is a really big breaking, big breaking event, and, and then a chicane, so it's quite mixed, but. There's a lot of corners, which are long, high-speed corners where the driver has to balance the car on the limit of adhesion and uh, perfectly control his speed and trajectory to get the best out of the car. And that's why drivers talk about this as being a, a circuit which differentiates drivers as much as it differentiates the cars. So in Spa, with two very long straights, albeit the second one's not very straight, um, you have to drop downforce. So you drop downforce quite a long way. If you, if you don't drop down force enough, you look great in the middle sector, but everyone drives past you on the straights. So there's always a delicate balance, because what you want for the middle sector is, is quite a lot of load, and, uh, and what you need for the other straights is, is low down force and high top speed. So it, it's a circuit that rewards aerodynamic efficiency rather than aerodynamic load.